guys, it's Cassie. If you guys like the videos, be sure to click like and subscribe and also hit the bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. Thanks so much and on to the video. Enjoy. I'm gonna get you, Lucy. You better run. I'm gonna get you. You, you better run. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Cassie, Lucy, could you please grab some potatoes from the garden? I need three, please. Uh, Yeah, sure, we got it. Yeah, we got it, Sally. Let's go, Lucy. Let's go grab these potatoes. Oh, God, that was fun. I'm out of breath. Why are you... You have so much energy. Why are you not out of breath, you little bouncing ball? We don't do anything around here. Are you... Are you kidding me we don't do anything around here well maybe it's not hard to keep energy maybe not for you but connor and i have chores that we do <laughs> a lot of chores that we do it's not it's not that hard to do what you guys do okay well you try washing an entire cow and then you tell me how tired you are <laughs> oh look lucy look who it is hey connor How's it going? Scoping out the wall. Connor, Connor, you have to see how high you can go on the swing now. It's pretty cool. She can go pretty high. It's pretty incredible. It's pretty awesome. What do you... Can't you see I'm busy, Lucy? Connor, come on. It's right over there. You're walking that direction anyway. Why are you gonna... It'll only take two seconds, please. Yeah, Connor, please. Be a good brother and watch your... Si Lucy, pretty soon you'll hit an age where you'll grow the heck up. Life isn't happy, and the sooner you realize that, the better. Lucy, it's just... It's just... Con Seriously, Connor? Seriously? <sighs> Goodness. That boy. <sighs> Hi, Dad. Connor, yeah, I mean, why else would she be upset? Of course it was Connor. What did he say this time? Oh, you know, just the usual, life is a pit of sadness. Uh, you should grow up, you'll learn someday, blah, blah. She'll, she'll be okay. She'll be fine. She'll be her perky self in no time. Yeah, you're right. It just, I hate when he does things like that. It really brings down her mood. I'm going to go give these potatoes to the family. Love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello, family. I got your potatoes. There you go, Sally. Perfect. Thank you, dear. Of course. Absolutely. I gotta go say hi to my little ball of joy. Hello, little baby. Hello, how are you today? Hello, little baby. Hello. That's so adorable. This is adorable. Oh my gosh, I love that baby. Okay, I'm gonna help you prepare some stuff in here. I can start, um, it looks like you already got the chicken ready. I can, so Lucy, Connor, yep, again, well, I've told that boy not to put those thoughts into his sister's mind. I know Grandma Jill, he doesn't listen to anyone in this house. It's just <sighs> surprised that he even fits his stupid head in the door. <laughs> He's so big headed. He only thinks about himself. Oh, I have such a big head. I'm not even going to be able to fit in this house anymore. How am I going to be able to share a house with all of these people? My head is just so big. It's so huge. <laughs> am I right, guys? No, Connor, I was, it was just, I didn't. Dinner. Dinner will be ready soon. Can you set the table, please? Yeah. Come on, Grandma. Let's grab the plates. Oh, God. I feel bad, but it's kind of, kind of true, you know? Excuse me? Um, it looks like we are missing one table mat. Are we missing one table mat? Do you guys know where that is? 
Oh, Cassie, could you get the table setting was washed in the garage? Could you get get it for me, please? Of course, I can definitely go get that for you. <laughs> oh, there it is. Wow, we sure have a lot of guns. It was crazy how we ended up finding all these and hunting these down. We're really lucky that we had this place to run to in a time like this. Insane. I'm glad we're all together, though. I got it, guys. I got the last one. There you go. Oh, there you go. Thank you, dearie. You might want to go check on your brother, though. Yeah, you're actually probably pretty right. I should. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, hey, Connor. I didn't mean for you to hear me there. It's just, you've changed. You're... Okay, I, uh, whatever. I'm gonna go uh, check and see what Lucy's up to, guys. Make sure she's all right. I'll be, I'll be back. Hi, Dad. Ooh, hello, Lucy. What you reading? Ooh, we reading about Narnia, I see. Reading, they're my favorite books. A little girl named Lucy goes into a closet and there's a whole new world. Y yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty amazing. Very similar. Now this Lucy can't even leave beyond the stupid wall. Lucy... Lucy, the, the wall's there for our safety. We, we both know that. We both know that the wall's there pr to protect us, not to hurt us. I know, I just... I hate it. Well, I, I know why you, why you hate it. But even, like, the things in the book, we just have to keep on dreaming, and eventually, maybe things will clear up. Just dream big and live big, and maybe we'll be able to get out of this wall someday and leave. Just keep your dreams high and don't lose hope. Don't let things like Connor said disappoint you and upset you, okay? Don't let it bring you down. He's just... It's alive. The chicken is a demon. Oh god. Oh god. I think Grandma's having one of her visions again. Come, come, come! No, no, Jill, it's very dead! Lucy, come help! Come help! <laughs> Go away, chicken demon! Mom, stop it! Oh my god. Grandma, please stop! That's our dinner! Yes, that is our dinner! Don't stab the poor chicken! Oh god, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Please don't stab our chicken. It's, it's okay, it's okay. Guy, I got... You're seeing things again, Mom. Yes, you are. Please stop. We have to eat that. We can only spare so many chickens every day. Please, Cassie, her meds. Oh, of course, of course. Her meds, her meds, her meds. Her meds, her meds, her meds, her meds. Her meds. Um, get the, get the syringe, get the syringe, get the syringe. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, anyone up for stabbed mush chicken soup? <laughs> uh, it's okay, Grandma. It's okay. <laughs> what was your job before this, Sally? Yeah, Sally, what was your job before this? I don't think we've ever really had that conversation before. I used to work at home. Oh, it's like, probably, well, yeah, stay at home, Mom. You didn't have other kids before this, did you? Okay. Guess it was fun. Are you excited for the universe? Of course. No. Connor, are you not gonna come eat dinner? We have ch soup. <laughs> chicken mush soup. <laughs> yeah, that chicken almost killed me. Exactly. I'm going for a walk. Okay, have fun walking in circles. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> Where's he gonna go? He's literally just gonna like walk in circles. It makes no sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so, Dad, uh, I think I I've been I've been really working in the shop lately a lot. Like I've been, uh, yeah, I've been really working in the shop. I've perfected the wheelbarrow design. I think it'll be really easier to store all the veggies. Oh, Dad is standing on the table. Um, Father, um, Father, um, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's crazy. He's totally crazy. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, I really, uh, I think it'll be good because the, the squirrels won't get to them. And I think that'll be the, the good thing about it is the squirrels won't be able to get to them anymore, which will be good. And Lucy has been, yeah, Lucy's been working on her swing pretty good. Haven't you, Lucy? Daddy, I can almost jump off the swing when it's at the highest point. She can't. Go Daddy, grab your gun. Connor. I think it'll be good because the, the squirrels won't get to them. And I think that'll be the, the good thing about it is the squirrels won't be able to get to them anymore, which will be good. And Lucy has been, yeah, Lucy's been working on her swing pretty good. Haven't you, Lucy? Daddy, I can almost jump off the swing when it's at the highest point. She can't. Go Daddy, grab your gun. Connor. Okay, let's go. I got the gun. Come on, let's go. Lucy, stay until you know it's safe. Yeah, Lucy, please stay there. We don't want you to get hurt either. Connor! Connor, you don't think he got outside the gate, do you? Connor! <gasps> Connor? Connor, what are you doing on the wall? Get down, you stupid boy! What are you doing? It's got me. It's got my leg. A zombie? Connor! Go, go! <sighs> My god, did it get you? Did it get you a bite? Scratchy yeah, Connor, did it get you? You stupid boy, what are you doing? Oh my god, no, I'm fine. Oh my god. What in the world were you- th Yeah, Connor, what in the world were you thinking? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Just wasn't expecting it. Would have been fine if it hadn't snuck up on me. Oh, well, pff, sorry. Sorry the zombie didn't eat you at your own convenience, Connor. Is that how you want to die? Being scratched by a zombie? While sitting on your wall? What's the matter with you? Yeah, why would you do that? Why would you risk everybody, including your own life, Connor? Oh my god, are you okay? I was so worried. Why didn't you just shoot it? Lucy, uh, he's fine. He didn't get scratched. Uh, fine, uh, just uh, get off me. Connor, don't, don't be like that towards her. Connor! Cassie, can you get his gun? I need to have a word with him. Yeah, I can do that. Goodness. Lucy, it's, it's okay. Oh my gosh, my heart's pounding. Just don't worry about him. He's just embarrassed because he's an idiot. Do you want to come with me to get his gun? Sure. Okay, let's go. Be careful of the barbed wire, Lucy. I don't want you to prick yourself. There you go. <sighs> I see some cows off in the distance. We should probably get Dad and I to come out here and rope up. We could use a few more of them. How did Connor do that anyway? Um, you mean be a complete idiot? <laughs> what do you mean? Do what? Get on the wall. How did he do it? Oh, he, he stepped on the slide and then he jumped over the wall and he was sitting. He's just stupid boy. Just being a stupid boy. Oh, yeah. Stupid boy. Yeah, definitely. There it is. Don't, don't worry, Lucy. I got it really good. You can go walk up to it. I shot it good. I'll grab the gun. I got the gun. Go ahead. You can walk up to it. Whoa, it's so... dead. <sighs> yeah, you've really never seen one up close before, have you? You actually haven't. You haven't seen any of them up close before. Well, you've got to be careful, Lucy. Because their favorite thing to eat are... LITTLE GIRLS! <laughs> <laughs> hey, not okay. <laughs> Dad will get the body later. <laughs> Come on, let's go just pick on some Con on Connor some more for being such an idiot. <laughs> Come on. Do you think they have feelings? The zombie? 
N no, Lucy. The zombie doesn't have feelings. Just because we don't understand its mind doesn't mean it doesn't feel. Lucy, they, they don't. Okay? They don't. But what if? <sighs> if they did, if they did, they would be able to stop themselves from attacking and eating humans. So, that's if they did. But that's not how their brains work. <sighs> Lucy. They don't think. They eat. Their brains work as predators. Their only goal is to eat. That's all they do. They don't feel anything. And they will eat you any chance they get. Don't ever give them that chance, okay? Good. Now let's go. A ball of light. Good night. Oh, good night, cutie. Good night. Good night, Sally. See you in the morning. You too. Mm -hmm. Grandma? Hi, Grandma. Good night. I'm going to bed. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. They'll crawl in your mouth and lay eggs in your stomach. <laughs> you too, Grandma. Good night. <laughs> Crazy lady. <laughs> When things go wrong, you'll find they usually go on getting worse from time to time. Aww. You're reading her a story? When things go right, they often keep on getting better and better. Aww. Aww, you're reading her Narnia. Good night. I'm going to go uh, say hi to Connor real quick. I will be back, okay? I'm, I'll be right back. Good night, Lucy. I love you. Good night, Dad. Love you. Good night. Thanks for taking watch tonight. I appreciate that. Hey, um, Connor, can I come in? Do you mind if I come in? If you must. Um, thank you. So, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Get it? Because <laughs> you were sitting on the wall and you had a great fall. Get it? <laughs> yeah. So, um, I brought Lucy with me to get your gun earlier. Outside the wall. All the way outside the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. And, um, get this. She asked me if zombies had feelings, if they were capable of thought. That is what Lucy asked me when we were outside the wall. <laughs> Stupid child. She, Connor, she's not stupid. She's not a stupid kid. She's curious. She hasn't had to see the same things that we have. She just thinks that they feel like humans feel. We know that's not true. Those things aren't human. Yeah, I know. We know that, Connor. But it's a hard concept for a child to understand, to comprehend. She doesn't know that. Of course we know that. Maybe if she was the one to have to shoot mom in the head, she would feel differently. Connor, it's okay. I'm sorry you had to go through. Good night, Connor. I miss her too. Huh? I miss mom too. Lucy, go to bed. Why are you still up? 
I may not have seen the same stuff you guys have, but that doesn't mean I'm oblivious to it. Lucy, that's, that's not what I meant. That's really, that's not what I meant when I said that. I see a light in them. If we just somehow spark the light and remind them of their lives, maybe they can remember who they were, who they are deep inside. <sighs> sure, whatever, whatever you say, little one. Just let's go to bed, okay? Good night. Good night. I miss mom too. Lucy, go to bed. Why are you still up? I may not have seen the same stuff you guys have, but that doesn't mean I'm oblivious to it. Lucy, that's that's not what I meant. That's really that's not what I meant when I said that. I see a light in them. If we just somehow spark the light and remind them of their lives, maybe they can remember who they were, who they are deep inside. <sighs> sure, whatever, whatever you say, little one. Just let's go to bed, okay? Good night. Good night. Lucy? Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Connor! I heard Lucy scream. Lucy! Uh, 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 oh. What the heck are you guys doing? It's like seven in the morning. Daddy threw me in. I can see that. <laughs> it looks fun. <laughs> that looks very fun. That water is disgusting. N no, it's not. It's fine. Connor, the water's fine. It's not disgusting at all. You can't even see the bottom. It's all mucky. Look! The bottom is not mucky. Come look at this water. It looks perfectly fine. <laughs> see? It looks fine to me. It's been sitting unfiltered for how long now? A few years? Doesn't it feel gross on your body? I don't know. Why don't you find out? Oh! <laughs> You're all wet. You're all wet. <laughs> we got him. We got him good. We got him good. <laughs> Stupid boy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Cassie, help me up. Okay, fine, you- Oh, are you serious? Did you just pull me in the water? Okay, that's it. This calls for a round of tag, and Connor's it. Tag, you're it! You're it! You're it, you're it, you're it. Connor's it, Connor's it. No, 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 get Lucy! Get Lucy, no, no, get Lucy. I'm gonna jump off the diving board. Guys, watch me dive off the diving board, ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a 360, 360 no scope. 10 out of 10, right? Very good. <laughs> 7 a.m. Let's get started on chores, please. Uh, okay, Sally, we're good. Okay, guys, come on, you knuckleheads. Let's get out of here. Okay, Connor, are you good to milk the cow from here? Are you good to, are you okay? I'm gonna go pick apples, is that okay? Okay, perfect, I'm gonna go pick apples. I will see you later. Hello. Hello, guys. Have fun. <laughs> Grandma Jill being a creep over there. <laughs> that tree 
came alive. Ah! Oh my, oh my god! You scared the heck out of me! What are you doing creeping up on me like that? Don't do that! The tree came alive! Uh-huh! That's- that's nice, Grandma. That- that's nice. Good to hear. Don't pick too many apples or it will get mad and throw them at you. But that literally makes no sense because then it would be throwing more apples at- Yeah, uh, uh, sure. What, yeah, whatever, Grandma. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Grandma. Okay, that should be about good. Let's go check on my wheelbarrow. Hmm. I think I'm good to show Dad. I'm gonna go get Dad and show him my wheelbarrow. Oh, he's gonna be so proud. Dad? Dad? Oh! Dad? Oh, hey! You have to come see my... You have to come see my wheelbarrow. I've, I've worked really hard on it. I think, I think it's finished. Come, come and see it. It's awesome. It's so amazing. I've really... I, again, I've really perfected the design. And I think it'll be perfect. And then... Let me show you. Come on in. Hey, we were just in the pool. You don't need to get wet. So I think this will be perfect. Um, I just need to hit it a few more times. There. I think it's done. I, I think it'll be perfect. Oh, it looks great. Good job. Oh, thank you. Though those stupid squirrels can't get in here and we can put the wheelbarrow in. We can put them in the... Oh yeah, I picked the apples. I picked the apples. Oh, they're out there. But we can put all the vegetables in here. And then um, we can store them in here and the squirrels won't get to them. Let's, uh, yeah, but apples. Let's go bring them to Sally before she uh, gets upset about it. My apples. My apples are gone. This, uh, curse you squirrels! <laughs> I swear I picked apples. They're gone. Curse you squirrels. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick some more apples. I'll see you back inside. <laughs>
Oh my God, Lucy, Mia. Where do you think they went? Do you think they went far? I don't even know where to begin to start looking. Lucy? Lucy! Oh my goodness. Lucy, what in the world are you thinking? Wh what were you thinking coming over here? Just showing Mia what it's like outside the gate. What are you doing? Really? Really, you, you know better than that. What if a zombie came? You don't have any protection. What if there was a zombie out here? I checked, there's nothing around. Don't ever touch my child again. Oh, let's go, Mia. Lucy, we're... we're say we're... So, Sally, we're... I mean, you kind of deserve that, Lucy, to be honest. You kind of deserve what she did. I just wanted to sit in the grass and watch the fish in the pond. Do you realize that you not only put yourself in danger, but you also put another person's life in danger? Not just, not just your own life, another person's life as well. Fine, okay? I learned my lesson. Not quite. You're gonna hear an earful from dad and Sally's never ever going to trust you again. Okay, so let's just, let's go, okay? Lucy. Let's go. Lucy, get inside right now. Let's go. N no, right now. Get inside right now. I like it out here. It feels freeing. It feels freeing. Really. That It feels freeing out here. <sighs> Are you crazy, Lucy? Yep, that's basically what I've been telling her. That she's insane. She's actually crazy. <sighs> no. What were you doing out here? Yeah. Go ahead. Explain. Explain to them, Lucy. What were you doing out here? Showing Mia what it's like outside the wall. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It's it's actually insane. It's actually crazy. She put... Why? Why would you do that? <sighs> you're, you're disciplining her, Connor? I mean, you're just as stubborn as she is, to be honest. You're one to talk. You're just as stubborn as she is. No, I'm not. I don't leave the wall. But you, oh, you just, okay, you just sit on them and you almost die by sitting on them that way. That just makes sense. This isn't the time or place for this. We're talking about Lucy. I, I guess you're right. Yeah, we're talking about Lucy and how insane she is. What are we going to do with her? I don't see the problem. She doesn't see the problem. She doesn't just get inside. Yeah. Come on, Lucy. Yeah, get up. Room, now. But, room, now. <sighs> I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't either. Your mom would. Heck, your mom probably would have gone out with her. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I bet she would have. They have such free souls. They be they can't be concealed. Connor's the same way. Yeah, you're right, actually. I see a lot of mom in him. He tries to hide it, but it's there. You know, I just... I just wish that we could live a normal day. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we're going through the same things over and over again. All the same problems over and over again. I just wish we could focus on surviving. We're gonna have to improve the gate. No one can leave without us knowing. Uh, okay, I can construct a lock system, but I'm, I'm gonna have to go get scrap metal for that. Okay, take Connor. Both of you bring guns, okay? Stay safe. Okay, I will.
crowbars. Two crowbars. Let's bring both guns and both machine guns. Okay. Come on, Connor. We gotta go grab scrap metal. I got you your stuff already. Let's go. Lucy? No. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. But you guys will be with me. You'll protect me. No. <laughs> You're not going, Lucy. You really are just as crazy as mom. If mom is crazy, then I'm glad I'm crazy too. Jerk. <sighs> Come on, Connor. Let's just, let's go. She bugs me. Uh, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy bugs me. Yeah. Look, okay, I don't have any girls to gossip with anymore. Can you just entertain me for one dang minute, please? Just one dang minute. Shh. We're, we're not even close to the road. We're fine, okay? We're not even close to the road yet. It's not that big of a deal. Shh. Connor, it's all right. We're not even there. The road is so... F Shh. Why do you try to play both roles? the carefree spirit and the tough strong guy who denies those feelings those roles so you know lucy really bugs me but at least she knows who she is we can't lose ourselves in all this it's all we have left This isn't our world anymore. It's the deadhead's world now. I mean, yeah. We're survivors. And as much of a free spirit I am, we have to change and adapt. Uh, so you're right. I do try to bury that person that I was. I... I'm just trying to work stuff out in my own head. And it affects everyone, so I'm sorry, okay? Is that what you want to hear? Deadheads? Really? Is that what you're calling them now? I'm sorry I make your life so difficult. It's, it's fine. But is that really what you're calling them now, deadheads? <laughs> Is that is that's all you got out of that? What about like uh like lame brains? That's a good one. Lame brains is a good one, right? <laughs> Meat bags. No 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 no. What about like uh like a swamp butt? I think swamp butt suits them best. <laughs> Lily livers. Um what about uh dumb? What about just dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Now we're about a mile out. <laughs> let's be quiet from here. Okay, Connor, let's go. How many shots did you end up taking back there, Connor? Only two were fine. Okay, good. <sighs> okay, we're almost there. We're in the open, so keep low, keep moving, keep quiet, keep alert. Uh-huh. And don't shoot unless you have to. Okay, I know, I know. Let's just get in and get out. Okay, let's do this. I'm 
Oops, Connor. I think the side paneling of this door would work perfectly. Let's try to get this. Try the left a little bit. Lucy? Did that sound like Lucy to you? Oh my god. Lucy? Lucy? Hello? Oh my god. Lucy! Hello? Oh my god. Lucy! Connor, just d do something quick. Please, just do something. Connor. He he's, he's so close, they don't want to miss. Just shoot, Connor, please. Just shoot. Please, just shoot. Just do it. Oh my gosh, Lucy, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Oh my god, good job, Connor. That could have been a sticky situation. Thanks, but Lucy shot off four shots alone, plus my shot, and also plus Lucy's screaming. Lucy was screaming, and actually I was screaming as well, to be honest. So, yep, we need to get out of here or go observe in the forest for a minute. Yeah, let's just wait out in the forest. Uh for like 30 minutes and then if it's clear we'll go get the metal but we've yeah we got to get lucy out of here first come on let's try to pull this <sighs> oh goodness gracious <sighs> man <laughs> this guy is unmovable man this guy is heavy son of a wait shh did you hear that do you hear that don't worry, I'll take him out with my knife. Okay, I'll be your backup. Let's go. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh no. Connors, there's like 30 of them out there. What are we gonna do? Oh my gosh, quick, we've gotta dive into the tree line and leave Lucy? We're gonna leave Lucy here? We can't do that. She, she's back there. No one is gonna get her, she's blocked. But, but what if they see her and then they sit and they wait for her and then they overpower us and then we won't be able to get to her. We're not gonna be able to get to her. Yes, we will, but right now we have to worry about how we're gonna get away. But, but we can't we we can't leave her like this she's she's alone back there we it, let's go no Connor we, we can't we can't oh god okay um Lucy do not make a sound hide do not make a sound Oh my gosh. I think we're safe. We can come out, come out now. Okay, let's go check on Lucy. Come on. Oh, Lucy. It's okay. You can come out now. I think we're safe. 
Oh, you're so brave and so strong. Oh my goodness. They might not have been able to smell you because of the rotting body right here. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Oh, man, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That was actually insane. I'm, I haven't seen that many zombies in a long, long time. Man, that was crazy. I'm glad we're all okay, though. <gasps> Connor! Oh my god! C Connor! Stop it! Oh, oh god! Connor? Connor? D Connor, is he okay? Are you okay, Connor? Are you okay? Did it get you? Let me see. Connor, let me see. He got me. Let me see, Connor. But, there's no... There's no bite. See? He got my hood. He messed up my nice jacket. <laughs> Connor! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Meanie. <laughs> well, he's fine, Lucy. He's just... <laughs> okay, let's just... <laughs> really, it's not time to pull a joke like that. Goodness gracious. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's get the heck out of here. Okay, come on. Help me with this body. Okay, come on, help me with this body. You know, I wanna be mad, but after all of that, I'm just really glad we're all safe and sound. We're all okay. <sighs> Are you sure you're okay, Connor? Yeah, Connor, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I was just messing around with you guys, I'm fine. Okay, good. That was scary. <laughs> um, I guess we should probably head home. But Lucy, how did you get to where you were? Um, Connor, actually, before we head home, I really need to get this medal for, for this reason. For this reason. So, would you mind helping me real quick? Can we just get this done really quickly? Sure, okay, let's go. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, come on, that's it. Let's scoot, let's get out of here. Have you, have you guys ever followed the road up there? Um, yeah, a, a pretty long time ago. Really? What's that way? Um, well that way, not much. But that way, there's this huge city. Huge city. Let's go! <laughs> uh -huh. Yep, let's go. Connor... <laughs> Really? <laughs> Connor? No, you idiot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why not? There's no reason for us to go, Lucy. We have food. We have a well with water. We have weapons. The last thing we need is to find more people. And that town is uh, flocked in zombies anyway. It's covered. So it's not really something we, we need to be doing right now. We got to get home. They are probably freaking out. Dad might be coming to look for us right now. Yeah, it's getting pretty late. Come on, guys. Let's let's go. So are we going to talk about how Lucy got to where we were? Oh, yeah. I easily walked out of the gate. Yeah. So again, hence why we need the lock. <laughs> 
Right, so I followed from a short distance when... Actually, Lucy, I think we better wait. Um, everyone at home's gonna... They're gonna want to hear this. Let's go. <sighs> oh, Lucy... Are you okay? Of course, Dad. Yeah, she uh, followed us, obviously. Okay, we will talk about it inside. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so what happened out there? So I followed you guys from a long distance so you wouldn't see me. Then, as you guys approached the road, I went around and saw a zombie in the field. I wanted to finally be able to approach a living zombie, oh my god. They aren't living. <laughs> anyway, I approached the zombie and started to talk to it. Lucy... I was trying to trigger something in its brain so it could snap back to being a human. The zombie ran full sprint at me. I ran into the abandoned truck. Oh my goodness. I tried to shoot it, but I forgot to open my eyes to shoot it. And then, yeah. But there you guys were to protect me, just like I said. Oh my gosh, yeah, wow, um, okay. <laughs> and they, that's how the, the group of them found us. Through that. <laughs> Through you shooting with your eyes closed and all that drama. Group? How many? Um, I'd say about 150 of them. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. <laughs> 150 of them, it's, it's probably good. You're sure they didn't follow you, right? I mean, they, they went the complete opposite direction. The herd walked the different way. No, they, they didn't. They didn't follow us. Okay, Lucy, where did you get that gun? Yeah, where did you get that gun? Connor's bedside table? Oh, 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 um... You went through my stuff? Oh, Lucy! No, I already knew where it was from the last time I went through your stuff. <sighs> <laughs> Lucy. What? Uh, okay, the important thing is we're all home. Yeah, that's true. We're all home. We're all safe inside. Can we discuss this more tomorrow? Yes, I am mentally and physically exhausted. Let's discuss this tomorrow. Lucy really needs to be watched. Uh, I can I can take watch tonight. I don't mind doing that. I just want to make sure Lucy stays inside. Thank you, Cassie. Okay, off y'all go to bed. Glad you're all okay. Yeah, let's all go to bed. It's been a long day. <laughs> Grandma? Gra- Grandma? <laughs> Grandma? What you doing, Grandma? The shark! The shark! Uh-huh. Yeah, the shark. He- he- he ran out of my room and he ate the last piece of key lime pie. Oh, really? Oh, really, Grandma? Uh-huh. He ate the last piece of pie? What a mean shark. It, it bit my leg right off. Wow, sounds crazy. But you know, your leg, your leg looks, your leg looks fine, looks great. Your leg looks all right. I, I had to fight the shark and get my leg back. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> well, um, it looks good. Everything, everything looks fine. 
<laughs> it looks great. I, I swam to the surface of the ocean and put my leg right back. I, I didn't attach it backwards, did I? Uh, no, nope, it looks great. <laughs> Come on, I think the shark is back inside stealing our food again. The shark is inside. It's stealing. It's stealing our food. I'm, c I'm coming, Mr. Gill. <laughs> How are you feeling, Grandma? You feeling okay? Oh, I'm feeling okay. Would you please get me a glass of water, sweetheart? Yeah, I can do that. <sighs> Here you go, Grandma. Thank you. What was it this time? Um... Uh... Are, are you sure you want to know? Um, okay, well, you, uh, saw a shark, and he stole our pie. <laughs> I swear, those hallucinations will be the death of me. Well, we're here to help you and keep you safe. You're safe here. You're perfectly fine. I know. Well, we have the wall now. Your grandpa and I didn't in the first year. Do... Do you miss him? I... I can't really remember too much of him. More how he left. Uh, do you think he's still out there somewhere? When he left to get food... Or was it to go to work? Well, he never came back, and of course it messed me up. As I can imagine. But I'd like to believe he's surviving and thriving wherever he ended up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Me too. Sharks? That's crazy. No, I didn't mean sharks. I meant in the sense of surviving. You know, being alone for the time that you were. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I knew I had to see my grandbabies one more time. <sighs> yeah. Okay, well, come on. Um, let's go get you into bed and get you out of this swimsuit. Come on. <laughs> Love you, Cassie. Love you too, Lucy. Good night. You're up super early. Um, yeah, I gotta get a pretty early start today. I gotta get the lock done before Lucy gets up. <laughs> she really is starting to act more and more like her mother the older she gets. Yeah, she's going to need to apologize to Sally and Mia. That was not good. She will. She knows when she knows it was wrong in some way. Yeah. Hey, don't worry about me for breakfast, by the way. You sure, honey? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go outside and work on the lock until then. But I'll see you at lunch. Bye!
Yes. Uh, Lucy, I don't have time for this. Lucy! I don't have time for your games! God! <sighs> Lucy, I'm... Uh, oh. <laughs> Man, yelling at your father? Are you gonna yell at your sweet little grandma next? I thought you were... I thought you were loose. <laughs> anyway, I, I've, I've been working on the lock. You wanna see it? Come on in. We have other issues. What do you mean? We have other issues. Where's Lucy? Is Lucy okay? I just saw- oh wait, I just saw- I just saw Lucy. It's fine. Oh, no, no, it's not Lucy's time. Okay, good. <laughs> it's the crop. The crop? What- what's wrong with the crop? This morning, we harvested it. It's rotten. No good. We have no way of growing food. N no more food? No more food? What about the apples in the tree? The apples can only last so long, Cassie. We need more food. Our stockpile has lasted us for only so many years. That means we're gonna have to go into town. Dad, that's not a good idea. We can... we can think of something else. We replanted all the seeds we have left. It'll grow, but it'll take a month, maybe two. We need to have a backup plan and get ahead of schedule. Dad! We can't go through this again, please. I don't want to go back into that town. We don't really have a choice. But it's flocked in zombies. Cassie. I... But I just... I can't. Connor can't. We have to. What about Lucy? If Lucy finds out about that city... We're going to Kismet. End of story. What if we get swarmed? We're not going to get swarmed. What if we lose each other? We won't. We're going. What if we... what if we see her? We aren't. But we've been lying to Lucy for all these years. What happens when she sees her? We... we will not see her. Are we... are we gonna shoot her? If your mom is a zombie still, then yes, I will shoot her. Because I was too much of a coward to do so the first time. She's a corpse because of me, okay? It's... I'm... We have to, Cassie. We have Grandma and Sally. The baby. We have to. When do we leave? First thing in the morning. We have the rest of the night to prepare. I'm... I'm sorry. Chest is fun, but it's way too complicated for my old brain. Then will you let me read to you, Grandma? Oh, sure, honey. Go ahead. Okay, Grandma. Let's see here. Ah, oh, dull people. You're just going to love this one. It's a great story about how these dolls come to life when people aren't looking. But it's tricky because... Who... who are you? Grandma? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I must be losing my brain. It's okay. Anyway, so it's tricky because they... Who are you, young lady? I'm... 
you don't really know who I am? The neighbors, John and Kate, you must be their child. Come on, I'll take you out for some ice cream, and then we'll take you home. Come on now. But... Come. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you the whole Uh, hey, how are you holding up in here? Just ready for bed. Dinner will be ready soon. Hmm, I just can't believe the time for this has already come. We could hunt. No place to store the food for long periods. Hmm. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay, though? Um, yeah. No! Ah. I'm so worried for Lucy's sake. She doesn't really have fear, Cassie. It's okay. Exactly! She's gonna go into town and have no fear. That's not a good thing. You have to be scared to have some sense of reality. She has to grow up and learn skills to fight and scavenge at some point. She won't have us forever. What if we don't have her forever? What is the point? Learning to fight and scavenge? There's no point. There isn't a cure. There isn't a chance any of us are going to grow to live happy long lives. Cassie, come on. It's okay, don't be like that. Everything's gonna be okay. Come here. Let's go eat. It's gonna be okay. Thank you for dinner. Thank, Thank you. you. You guys need a good meal before you go. Hopefully not the last meal. What? <sighs> okay. Let's talk over game plan for tomorrow. We have guns and ammo, packed and ready. Yes. Water? Yes. Sally, are you good with the plan for home? Of course. None of us will leave the house. Okay. Lucy and I have been practicing all day with the pistol. She will stay with me when we go out there. Connor and Cassie, you will stick together. Got it. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's call it a night. I'll do dishes. So, we'll see you soon. Yeah. I love you, Grandma. You guys come home safe and sound, you hear?
as we walk into the tunnel, it's going to get very dark. We don't know with the number of zombies in town these days. Keep alert. They're all dead. We don't know that. Keep your eyes peeled. Exactly. Connor, Cassie, hit warehouse. We're gonna head down this way. Watch each other's backs always. Get in and get out. Let's go. This place is going to be pretty picked clean. Look for any type of cans. Hmm. There's a grocery store here, Lucy. Put your back to me, we're going in. Just watch the door. I'm going to peep around these corners. This place is empty. Completely. Literally nothing, though. <coughs> Crap! Uh, you, you're, what? Uh. Do, do you live here? In this hole in the ground? How long have you lived here? I, uh, How old are you? You look so young. Are you alone? Well, uh, I... 
Get away from her. She came in here. I, I mean it. Step back. Daddy, he's human. Don't care. Lucy, get up that ladder. But... Now! Thank God. Zombie? <gasps> Who are you? My... my name is Jeff. How old are you? Uh, 21. Been bit by a zombie? N no! All these zombies are dead. Did you do that? Yes? How? Whoa, whoa. Come on. We're the ones walking into his base. Come on. Thank you. I'm Cassie. This is my father, Peter, and my brother, Connor. And, well, you already met Lucy. You're only 21? You killed all those zombies alone? Are you alone? Uh, yeah. That's so sad. Lucy! Well, we're scavenging the town. As long as you don't leave this place for the next hour, we'll be okay. Let's go. We can't leave him now! You're so cold! How long have you been here? Two, uh... Two to three years? Come stay with us! What? 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 Lucy. Why shouldn't we? No, that's... that's okay. Good. But, uh, you're not gonna find any food or guns out there. It's all in here. I've been collecting for a while now, just in case my family ever came back. They're... yeah, they're not. Take what you need. What? Take what you need. Connor. What? He said to. Can we repay you? I don't desire much. What about a warm, safe place to live? Can we talk? What the heck? Lucy has a point, Dad. He has no reason to attack us. He is alone. What if one of us were alone? Daddy, he's gonna give us food! We take food and guns and he stays with us! Honestly, it's not a horrible idea. Hmm... I would like to make a deal with you. We take your resources and you have a safe place to stay with company. Uh... I don't feel like being a prisoner. No prisoner. Although I'll be cautious of you. My children seem to trust you, and I trust them. Do we have a deal? Deal. Welcome to the family! First things first, you need a shower.
going to have so much fun. We have two men in the house, but Connor is kind of a baby. So we really only have my dad. One time my dad was trying to get one of our chickens off the roof and he fell through. Then Connor had to be the man, but he's a baby, like I said. And then BAM! He was bright purple like the color of Barney. You remember Barney, right? Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination. How about we play a game? I'll tell you a story and then quiz you at the end. Once upon a time, there was a big fluffy bunny. He lived with all of his bunny friends. Hey, thanks a lot for not shooting my sister. Uh, <laughs> she caught me by surprise though, that's for sure. She's um... But the crazy thing is, the lotion turned into a monster. Yeah, we all are a little crazy, I guess. Hmm, just been a while since I've been with people. Hmm. Buttercup. A uh, what? A buttercup. It's my grandma's favorite flower. My grandpa used to give them to her every Sunday. I want to grow them in the garden, so one day when she passes away, we can bury her with them. That's sweet. Just like you. You really saved us out there. Thank you. Hey! Hey! I'm talking to you! The quiz question is who kicked the cat? Uh, the chipmunk? Very good. Glad you were listening. All right, guys. Come on, Jeff. Time for you to meet the family. Well, here we are. Welcome home. Lucy, go get in bed. I'll come say goodnight in a minute. Good night, sir. Uh, good good night. So I don't know where you'll be sleeping tonight. The couch seems like the best option. Connor, will you sleep on the other couch? We can't risk having Sally or Jill. Wake up to a man sleeping on the couch. All right. Good night, Jeff. Good night, Cassie. Shut up. Good night, girls. I'm really proud of both of you out there today. Lucy ran away. Shush! I found you a new boyfriend. Shut up! Good night, girls. Good night. Night, Daddy!
Uh, hi. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> no, no, no. I- I'm fine. Water? Please. Thank you. Thanks. Of course. So. Can't sleep? Yeah, it's been a crazy day. And it's not over yet. (laughs) Yeah. So... Are you nervous for tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Who will I be meeting? Hmm. Well, there's my grandma who I mentioned before. She's losing her mind, sadly. Hmm. There's Sally. She is also losing her mind, but in a different way. She is very protective of her baby Mia. Mia's not losing her mind. Well, maybe she is. I don't know. She can't talk yet. And how about you? What about me? Are you losing your mind? (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Some days I think I am. We are a close family. I would die for any of them, related or not. They would do the same for me. Anyway, we best go to bed. You need to wake up and shower. I don't know what the big deal is. It's only been two years since I've showered. (laughs) (laughs) Please shut the heck up and sleep. Did you sleep? Hmm, alright. Let's get you cleaned up before everyone gets up. I think I have some more clothes that would fit you fine. Morning. Going through the stuff? Yes, we are pretty sad, especially when the new crop grows in. Good. I'm actually glad we found him. You would be. Hmm. He's just finishing up outside. Then I reckon we make breakfast? Yes, just gotta make sure they don't see him yet. Gonna go wake up Lucy to help me.
Uh, um, excuse me. Oh no, uh, it's fine. My my clothes. Yeah, uh, uh, left them in. Um, yeah, all all good. Every all. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Wake up. We gotta make breakfast. Is he here still? He hasn't met our crazy family yet. He will go running for sure when he does. Come on. Hey. Morning! Hey! You're all clean! That I am! Can I help you guys? I love cooking. Really? Yup! I used to make some killer eggs. May I? Uh, hello. <sighs> Sally! Dad! C Connor! Thank, thank you, dear. So, does someone want to explain what happened here? I found him, Sally! Of course you did. Children, may I talk to Sally alone? stranger into our home. He gave us food, guns, and supplies. We gave him a home. Fair trade. I can't believe you did this. He brought a stranger into our home. We did the same thing for you. You? You? I just need some time to process this. I think she will come around. She just needs time. Come on, let's get Grandma up and go eat. I'll go get Grandma. Good 
morning, Mom. Good morning. What are you doing? Just looking at the clouds. Well, breakfast is ready. Also, we have someone we want you to meet. All right. Come on, I'll help you walk down the stairs. Jim. Oh uh, no, Grandma. This is Jeff. We found him in Kismet. Jim, I thought I would never see you again. Oh no, Mom, that's not Dad. That's not Grandpa. Connor, take Lucy. Cassie, get her meds. Mm. Uh, uh. Jeff, I'm... I'm so sorry. You gave us all of these nice things, and we just brought you into our insane family. I'm so sorry. You were probably better off alone in that town. Why? Why, why are you laughing? Your family really is insane. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> we You seem like a wonderful young man. Thank you. So, Lucy, did you have a nice time? I had an amazing time. It was so nice to get out of the house. It was sad seeing all those dead bodies, though. Yeah, it's sad. How did you murder all of them? That's so many people. Each time I had to take a life, I cried for days. It never gets easier to kill them. Kill who? The people. Uh... Uh, or the zombie, if that's what you call them. Hmm, can't relate. Wait, you call them people too? Of course. I 100% believe that zombies are capable of snapping out of that state they're in. But sometimes it's kill or be killed. I think the same thing, and my family thinks I'm insane. I knew I liked you, so have you ever had an experience with a zombie where it snapped back to acting like a human? Uh, no. But I know it can happen. This one time I was in the warehouse collecting food. And well, I found a flaw in your perfect boyfriend. Connor, stop calling him that. I will kick you. He believes that zombies can become human. Wait, what?
He what? He thinks zombies can become human again. No way. How do you know? He's talking to Lucy in the front room. What did they say? Why do you care? What did you hear? I didn't hear much, just how your boyfriend is just as crazy as Lucy. <clears throat> oh, you little... You're such a brat. I'm the brat, baby. I'm the brat. Oh my really. god, You're Cassie. the one who's just teasing you, except when you are, are you obviously real, no like, things. It's not like, I mean, like, you don't know you are about it. But, like, yeah, you're the whoa, one who's just you down on the ground. Come on, on break me, really? it up. God, you're such a child. Cassie. Connor, it's not very kind to eavesdrop on others. I wasn't. I just was walking by and heard what they were talking about. That's exactly what eavesdropping is. What did you hear? He was saying it hurts to have to kill them. When I asked kill who, he said the people, or the zombies. He also said that he thinks zombies can become human again. Oh. Disappointed? No, I don't care what he thinks. Seriously, he's his own person. He's entitled to his own opinions. Oh, you two shut up. I'm going to see the baby. I wasn't even talking. Cassie! Oh, uh, hey. Wanna come join us for story time? Uh, no. Come on! I'll tell you the time I was surrounded by zombies and made it out just using a frog. I'm, I'm okay. Oh, uh, alright. <laughs> Don't worry about it. She's just a moody female. <laughs> Hey, Sally. Oh, hello, Cassie. Hello, Mia. <laughs> How are you feeling? Your... your father is right. Jeff might be a nice man, and yes, he may have helped our family a lot. Excuse my anxiety, but I'm finally in a place where I feel safe. The last time I felt like this was... with Matthew. Until my comfort was taken from me on that awful day. You've never really talked about it before. Well, I'm going to need to sit down to tell this story. Apocalypse hit the main city, we fled right away. We... We were living in the forest for a while, myself and my husband. It was really in the middle of nowhere, which was good. We started to get comfortable with living there. It was perfect, considering the situation we were in. It was 
was nothing unusual. We were all just sitting there. I turned around for two seconds and... Matthew! Matthew? Matthew? I'm okay. I'm... Matthew, everything's fine. No. No. No, no, no. Why? Matthew. We had to make a decision, obviously. We chose to wait till he became a zombie, and then I would... I really didn't want to go on, but the only thing keeping me going was the only part of him that I had. See, we got a little too comfortable, I guess, and that's what I'm afraid of here, being a little too comfortable. So maybe your father is right, having Jeff here will keep me on my toes. The last thing I need is to lose my family again. You guys found me right when I needed you the most.
Sally, I... I had no idea how intense that was for you. Did she just... Her... Her first word! Mama! She said Mama! Guys, come quick! She said her first word! Baby, say it again. Mama, come on. Mama. La, 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 la. She said it. <gasps> Did you hear? Mama. Mama. Can you believe it? Mama! <laughs> Mia's first word! She's growing up so quickly. You're right. It's amazing. It really is a miracle having a baby at this time period. Yep. We live an extremely safe life. How long do you think that will last? Huh? Being safe. The rest of our lives, I hope. That's not what I asked, Dad. We could die tomorrow. Years, Cassie. Hopefully we will be safe here for years. We were so fortunate to have this place to run to. Yes, we were. And the gate. Glad we have that. Yes. And it would hold up pretty well against zombies if they came. Right? Cassie, is there something you want to tell me? No! Well, not really. Why are you having these fears all of a sudden? It's really nothing. Just, Sally was talking to me, and she said that she is scared of getting too comfortable. She is 100% right. If we get too secure, then if something does happen, we are going to be in a bad place. She opened up to you? She told me her story of how she lost her husband and how you found her. Oh. Well, we have nothing to worry about. We can start training more and practice an escape routine. That makes me feel a lot better. What did you think when she ran out of the woods at you? She was in distress. I'm just glad I didn't shoot immediately. Me too. She had just lost her husband. Poor thing. I think that's why I was willing to take her in so quickly. We had both lost her other halves. I couldn't leave her out there. 
even though I was hesitant to bring a stranger into the house. Seeing Mia grow has been a beautiful thing. Did you ever go back for Matthew? You know, to bury him? No. Her gunshot attracted any zombies that were in the general area. We needed to get out of their ASAP. She never had a burial for him? N- no. I think at this time in life we can expect to lose people. But isn't that what we're all about? Trying to remain as normal as possible? I thought you didn't want things to be normal. I thought you didn't want to feel comfortable. But sometimes, things have to stay the same. To keep our sanity. She needs closure! Well, come on. Answer the question. I... What are your intentions about my sister? Mm, nothing. I can't help to think there's something sketchy about you. Oh, because I'm flirting with her? Excuse me? You think! You think I'm flirting with her? I, I really d- don't know what you're on about. Come on now, Jeff. I'm not stupid. Um... It's obvious. Tell me now. She... she's nice and all, but... Look, I don't want anything more than that. I, I guess I am just a bit confused. I haven't been with other people in years now. Yeah, I get that, but you better keep your eyes off of her. The last thing we need right now is a romance. Okay, um, I didn't plan to in the first place. If I notice anything, you're gonna get in trouble. Understand? I, I don't want any trouble, so yeah. Alright. Good. Now, get out of my face. in the world was that? What? That! Just making sure he knows his place in this house. Poor guy. Probably scared him to death. Good. But you tease me that I like him. It's because I love you. You're my sister. Of course I tease you. I just want to protect you. Oh, I love you too, Connor. Uh, don't get used to it. Okay, that's enough. Get off me, dweeb. Hey, I'm planning this funeral for Sally's husband. I need to try to find something of his to bury. I know he died close to the dirt path by the main highway. Will you help me? Anything to get out of this house. I don't want Dad to know, though. He isn't going to let us go. Yeah. Hmm. What are we going to do? Oh. Huh? Do you have an idea? Just play along. What do you mean? What is wrong with you? What? Uh, Oh, I get it. Connor, I am so done with you. Being so dang stubborn all the time. I had enough of you. You really need to work on yourself. Why don't you go and cry about it to your new boyfriend? Oh, really now? Just leave already, will you? Give me a break. Fine. Fine. That was kind of harsh. You'll get over it. Come on, hop out. Let's go. But what if Dad- Don't worry about it. The last thing Dad wants right now is drama. Fair enough. But let's hurry. I really don't want anyone walking in our rooms to find no one there.
Oh my god. Whoa. I'm not bringing a skeleton home. Yeah, no. Not happening. We could bring home the blanket. Maybe he has a wallet or something. Twelve twenty six, nineteen ninety two. When they were married? Hope so. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Wait. Okay, let's go. There. I think we're good. Yeah, thank god no one noticed. We've been gone for a good hour. Oh, hey, you two. You any better? What do you mean, any better? Um, that argument you two had earlier. What was it about anyways? No idea. Okay? I don't know what's going on with you guys. To be fair, I don't even want to know. Just don't do anything dumb. Thank you, Connor. No problem. I'm gonna go set things up. I'll help. Oh, Really? Nah. Don't ask me for any favors for the next two months. Hmm. And I thought you were actually showing compassion for once. Nope. Want to help me with something? Sure. What do you need help with? You'll see. I think you'll appreciate it.
Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Okay, looks good. Do you want to go and get Sally? Yeah, let's go. I think she will love this. I just hope this will help her come to terms with the past. I'm sure she will. Hey, Sally. Shh. Oh, sorry. Hey, we got a... Sur- Lucy. Shh. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Hmm? Would you mind stepping outside with us for a second? Sure. What's the matter? Nothing. You'll see. Oh no. What's the matter? What are we doing? Come on, trust me! (sighs) All right. Sally, look, after you told me that story about how you lost your husband, I I thought it would be nice to help you get over it. I, I know that sounds harsh, but you're suffering, and I couldn't just do nothing. That's, um... What? How did you get this? Wait, where did you get that? I knew you were up to something. This will have consequences. Dad, really bad timing. Connor and I snuck out earlier and went to, um, you know, where he died. And we found it on him. We really want you to be done with this. With all you've went through, you deserve closure. Uh, th- thank you. We just want you to be happy! It's gonna be okay. I- I- We love you! That's nice and all, but you guys really shouldn't walk out by yourself without telling anyone. Dad. You put yourself in high risk, and besides... Right. Sorry. I can't believe you did this for me. Come on, Sally. Let's put Matthew to rest.
Are you and I okay? Yeah. Well, you seem off with me. You haven't known me long enough. This is just how I act. No, it's not. <laughs> Whatever. Um. Just ignore him. Anyway, what I was saying is that you don't really know me that well yet. But that can change, right? And yeah. And I think you and me can get along quite well. I really like you. I like you too. But whatever you're going for isn't going to work out. We have zombies out there. The world isn't what it used to be. Isn't the point to remain as human and normal as possible? Look, the way I see it is that living a completely normal life just isn't possible anymore. I know, but no one should get too comfortable in a situation like this. I hate to disagree, but there are ways to adapt and get at least somewhat comfortable. Are you trying to get with me? That's that's not how I meant it. I meant like you're a cool person. Oh, yeah, that's how I meant it too. You didn't think? Uh, no, no. Anyway, I'm sorry, but do you really think that way? I mean, don't you have any hopes and dreams besides surviving? Isn't there that feeling that you want more? What do you mean? Like, I get it. Everything is messed up, but humans evolved to strive for happiness. So. So you say you're happy the way it is? No, but. Knowing my family is safe and continuously making sure that it stays that way is what I want. I really don't understand. Is that why you're acting weird with me? Hmm. Maybe it's because you're so convinced that zombies are people. Oh, don't you think so? Of course not. Those things are monsters. They are not like us. And there's no way you can bring back someone once they're infected. H how do you know? Those things kill. There's not a single bit of human left in them. Maybe there is, or maybe there could be a cure someone is working on out there. Those things took my mom, Jeff. Oh, I didn't know. I I'm so sorry. Yeah, whatever. Mom, what, what are you doing? That flamingo. It looked at me funny. Toaster. That was our toaster. No, no. It was a car, and it didn't stop honking at me. I'll get the meds. 
Um, so I got bad news. We only have one syringe left, so we will need to hunt down more. All right, give it to her. About that. Oh boy. Cassie, take Connor to his room and lay him there. I'll take care of Jill. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, time for laundry. I I taste colors. C Cassie, you you weird. Cassie. But where in the world at? What, what am I? <sighs> Idiot. Yeah. Where are your fingers? Where, where, where is the lamb sauce? Just, shh, just, shh. He is messed up. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, Grandma Jill is fine. We got her to sleep. But honestly, I don't know if she's going to snap out of this state unless we get her meds. That means we gotta go to the hospital off of I-25 and hope that her meds are still there. Which means... Perfect time for pistol practice? Actually, yes. We need to take as many of us as we can so we can cover more ground quickly. First thing in the morning. Yes! I mean, good. Cool. Okay, I'll gather up some ammo and supplies for tomorrow, and I think we can call it a day. We skipping dinner today? If you're hungry, we have leftovers in the kitchen. I think I'm good, but thanks, Dad. All right, get some rest. Good night, Dad. Perfect. Wake up. Huh? Oh, good morning. You done tasting colors? <laughs> hey, Lucy. Come on, wake up. We got things to do today. Good morning, Cassie. Wait, where are we going? Dad and I talked, and we're going to go out and do some pistol practice. Oh, really? Do I get to try? Yes. We all need to be prepared because we're planning a loot run to get more meds for Jill. Oh no, we are out? Is Grandma okay? Yeah, she's fine. But we'll need it nonetheless. For everyone's safety and for her own sanity's sake. Well, what's left of it. Anyway, get ready. We're heading out. Dad packed some food, so we're having breakfast outside today. Yay! Good morning, everyone. Today we decided to do some gun practice. I packed up everything we need. Connor and I are going to carry the guns and ammo. Cassie and Lucy, you take the food I packed up. Sally is going to stay home looking after Mia and, well, um, Jill. Oh, Sally is okay watching after two children? Connor! Still an idiot. Right back to you, sister. Okay, stop. Today is important for all of us, and it's to be taken seriously. Got it? Yes, Dad. Yes, Dad. Sure, whatever. <sighs> okay. Let's pick up everything I prepared and let's go.
Okay, let's all eat breakfast and get to it. Connor, you're gonna show Lucy how to handle a gun. Cassie, you know what to do, so just work on your aim. I'm gonna shoot a couple rounds myself. I'm a bit scared. It's gonna be okay, Lucy. Connor is pretty okay at it. He'll make sure you're gonna be fine. Pretty okay? I'm really good at it, and Dad will let me use the rifle after seeing how good I am. All right, Captain, where are your fingers? Sorry for the compliment. Really? You want to play that game, huh? Children, stop. Let's get to it. We're going to make a lot of noise here, so we want to be done within an hour. Is that why we are far from home? Yes, sweetheart. If the gunshots do happen to bring a few zombies out, then at least they aren't too close to home, in case they have friends. Also, I know it's scary, but zombies are a good thing to practice on in a controlled environment like this. No thanks! We shouldn't kill anything if we don't have to. Come on, really? Of course, Lucy. Come on, guys. Wait, what is that? Fire alarm. Cassie, let's go. Connor, Jeff, stay behind with Lucy and make sure no zombies are coming. Now! Hello. <coughs> Welcome home. <coughs> I knew when you smelled this yummy pie, you would come running home. Mom, what the hell? Oh no, did I undercook it again? Lucy, are you okay? <laughs> See, sometimes we have to stand our ground. Get it together. <sighs> oh. 
Ja. Oh. Okej. Okay. Oh my god, shoot them. Nope. We gotta go. Leave the stuff. What are we gonna do? Even when we get her meds, she's just going downhill so fast. We just do it. You go through hell for people you love. Guys, guys, we got... What the hell happened in here? Grandma was trying to bake a pie and let it burn. God, she just needs to die already. Connor! Connor! Anyway, we have bigger issues right now. Zombies! Zombies! They had to shoot them! <laughs> What's going on, Connor? How many? There were only about 15 of them. We shot them, but we ran out of ammo before even half of them went down. You guys shot? What were we supposed to do? Go melee against an entire horde? Good idea, Dad. This is bad. You probably caused more attention than that fire alarm. Did they follow you? Yes. Idiots! They heard the alarm nonetheless, and we needed to defend ourselves. Okay, but like, what are we gonna do? Dad? Those things are slow, which is gonna buy us some time. Wha- What are you saying? I'm saying we're gonna pack up as much as we can and leave. What? You're aware we have that old lady and a baby to take care of? How's that gonna work out without a roof above our heads? Connor, we're a family. We're staying together. It will be a tough time ahead of us, but we have to go. We have to. Oh. I'll miss this place. We all will. But get it together now. No time to lose. Yes, they're coming. Cassie, get Lucy and Jeff and tell them we're leaving. Connor, tell Sally. I'll try to convince Jill to leave. We all meet here in two minutes max. We're gonna grab what we can and leave. Wait. Can we not take them on? I mean, 15 zombies shouldn't be too big of a deal. And we have those walls surrounding us. We should fight. But who knows how many are gonna continue coming. We're gonna take the safe way here. Maybe... Maybe they'll leave and we can move back in, right? Yes, more than likely that's the case, but now, let's go. We lost a lot of time already. Lucy, Jeff, we gotta go. Huh? Go? Are the zombies coming? Grab what you can, now! No time to lose, let's go! Sally, we have to leave. Don't know if we're coming back, so bring all you can. Downstairs, right now. Oh, so we're going to the mall today. That's good, I need a new jacket. Mom, no! <sighs> Whatever. Get up now, we gotta go. Okay everyone, hope you grabbed as much as you can. We gotta leave now. This is an emergency. We're in big trouble. Everyone here? Okay, let's go. Now! Oh god, no. Not right now. There!
go ahead. We'll catch up. What are you doing? Oh, hello, dear. I was looking for my purse because we were going to the bank, right? Grandma, not the t- We got your purse already. Come on, let's go. How nice of you. Mother of God. Run! Oh my God. Run, guys. I'll get Grandma. Grandma, please. We have to go. Please. Whoa, 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 dearie. Let me take my time. Don't rush me. Mom, come on. J Jim? That's Jim. No, please, not right now, Grandma. You have to snap out of it, Dad! Mom, those are zombies. Come on, please. Jim, oh my, how long has it been? Grandma, please! Mom, that's not Jim. Why are you shouting at me? I need to give him a hug. I think it's been days since I saw him last. Dad, what are we gonna do? Cassie, I... um... Dad! Cassie, let's go. No, we can't leave Grandma behind. I... I'm sorry, Grandma. Sorry for what, my dear? I love you. Gotta get out of here while the herd is... distracted. Okay. In the sweet despair I find something true that I like I won't stress you, dear I know that you may
Lucy. We're not gonna come back, are we? You never know what the future brings, little one. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it through. Are you sure?